I kind of just started off this vlog without introing anything. It's just random b-roll of Ronnie's baseball game. So, wanted to just tell you, welcome to the video and enjoy my Memorial Day weekend with me. I'm acting fucking crazy recently. Just doing whatever I want, no rules. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Let me see. Show me. Oh, I see it underneath. You gonna be okay? High fives? Finally fucking home from college, but don't get it twisted. She's moving to fucking Texas. So upset about it, but I'm so glad I got to spend some time with her. Our families are also friends. So in a little while, we're going to dinner with her family. We're gonna go to a nice little Italian restaurant. It's Memorial Day weekend. I really wish I vlogged last night for you guys. You would have loved it. It was such a vibe. But then again, I'm thinking back. We went to Paul's Cabana and you guys know what happens when I bring my camera to the beach. I'm a little too nervous of that. Was it two years ago now? Maybe. I don't know. Your girl's camera went in the ocean. It wasn't my fault. We were laying down and a wave just came over and completely destroyed us. So that was great. And I have my new beautiful camera that I love so much. This is like three cameras later after that scenario. But to catch you up, me and Paul went with our friends Molly, Richie, J-O-B, Brittany, Mel, Ryan to watch the sunset on the beach and it was fucking awesome. And then after that we got ice cream and then after that we went to our friend Jack's house to hang out with him and Steph, his girlfriend, played cornhole, hung out by the fire. It was such summer vibes and I promise that will be happening literally all summer so you'll get caught up on that. But now I'm gonna go back outside because I literally can't get enough. My tan is developing very nicely which I'm so happy about. Gonna make a thumbnail for my video on Sunday. Today's Saturday but we have an extended mother effing weekend. I'm so happy. Memorial Day is Monday, so I thought that my dad, because he owns his own business, so he can take off whenever he wants. But I thought, oh, Saturday, dad's going to work, you know? Nope. Big fucking surprise. He's not going to work Saturday, Sunday, or Monday. I never get to spend that much time with my dad or my brother Brandon, so I'm so thrilled because this is like a once in a lifetime thing. So let's go enjoy the rest of our Memorial Day weekend. A little bit of light makeup for dinner tonight. Nice casual fit. Let's go. or pausing time really quick because I need to show you the clothes that I just got from White Fox Boutique. Before I show you all the clothes, I just want to tell you that you can use code Brooke for 15% off site-wide. If you're not using code Brooke, what are you doing? I'm literally saving people hundreds of dollars on the regular. If you've ever used my code or plan to after this video, leave a comment. I read all of them. And don't forget White Fox offers express worldwide shipping and they offer afterpay to all New Zealand, Australian, and US customers. We also have a swim line, which I have some stuff from and an activewear line. Let's get into it. First item of clothing is my new favorite dress. First of all, she's comfy, okay? I like that it gets a bit tighter on the mid area, but not too tight, just a little bit to show off the bod. This is literally the perfect little sundress. I'm gonna wear this way more than once this summer and that's when you know it's a good piece. It's obviously a little wrinkly, but I don't have time for that right now, okay? We're freezing time. Wait, then I would have time for that technically. Whatever, it's frankly. I absolutely adore the length of this dress. I'm very short, so most dresses are just kind of an awkward length. It's a beautiful pale yellow. We got the adjustable spaghetti straps. Here's what the back is looking like. Dress is a 10 out of 10. And for my next act, OMG, I'm fucking obsessed. Very, very light material, perfect for the summer on a really hot day or night, either or. I feel like this gives nightgown in the best way. Like it's like a dainty little doll dress. You know what I'm saying? On the chest, we have lace. I literally cannot reach to get that zipped all the way up, but another really, really comfortable dress. I feel like a total 
bitch in the best fucking way. First of all, these fucking shoes. We're gonna get a close up in a second, but first I wanna talk about this dress. Oh my god, like I said, it's giving doll. And like, I loved the dress, but then once I put on these shoes with it, I was like, yes, like that's what it needed. Oh my god. I'm serving the looks. Mm, mm, mm. And these fucking shoes, bro. Iconic. I love this detail right here. Like, I wanna see those freaking move when I walk, you know? They're fucking bitchin'. These shoes are bitchin'. Like, tell me you wouldn't see somebody in these shoes and be like, that girl's fucking cool. That girl looks sick. These are those shoes. They got all the cool hardware, the faux leather shit hanging from them. These shoes are it. Um, this is really it. Hell yeah. I got the best fucking dresses. I got the best dresses. Wait, it gets better. Ready? It gets better. Halter top. A fucking halter top dress. This length. Remember when I said something about length earlier? This is the length. Maybe a little above mid thigh. And I love a halter top because I always feel nice and secure. You can really tighten it to how you want. But this just keeps getting better. Okay, I have this dress in orange, which is one of my favorite colors. And I figured, why not get a cute purple one for the summer? Detailing on the chest is everything with some lace flowers i love this color adjustable straps as always because white fox really knows what they're doing you always have to have adjustable straps a nice little slip satin moment you can't go wrong okay next we have this moment these glasses are also from white fox i put them on because i think they just look fire with the fit i have this awesome awesome skirt why i love it one legitimate pockets come on two this is a parachute skirt so i can adjust every which way length width it can be high rise it can be low rise it can be mini 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 it could be a little longer and then i paired it with this shirt which i thought would come in handy for this summer love the length of it because you can pair it with low rise like so they look so good together here's the back of the skirt what i like about the back of this skirt is the more you rise the front it doesn't change the back so you're still gonna have coverage in the back this is like a really fun skirt i love it i got this racing jacket i believe it is i just got a really cool graphic one from white fox so i'm happy to have the black one i'm going on a trip and it'll be warm there but at night it gets a little cold so i'm planning on bringing this because i think it's the perfect little throw over i love the way that this fits fitted but has a little bit of that loose look to it we have a pocket here this buttons up here i love how the top is together and it slowly separates towards the bottom such a good look and then we have her zipped up so freaking cute this is one of the coolest freaking shirts i have this in dress form i feel like everything i show you i'm like i have it in this because i'm obsessed with everything on the website pants are from a different haul but you can also get them on white fox it's not what we're worried about right now we're worried about this moment like i said i have this in a dress in green when i saw it in pink in a shirt immediately jumped on it the detailing is so fabulous i'll never get over it i can't wait to wear this i'm definitely bringing this on my vacation the back is just a simple moment. The party is in the front. Okay, next shirt is so cute. It's giving Italy. It's giving Amalfi Coast. It's giving Summer in Pusatano. And I want to be there. Perfect length. It's not tight on the lower belly area, as you can see, but... It's nice and fitted over on the top. This is going to get worn hard. It's adjustable on top. You can tie this as you would like. Very classy summer shirt. Um, holy shit, the fit of this is everything. It's like they sculpted it perfectly to my own body. I don't get it. This look is so cool. It's kind of giving worn out vintage, but it's brand spanking new. Best of both worlds. This is also coming on my trip with me. I'm leaving in four days. Okay, at this point, 90% of my wardrobe is White Fox but especially my hoodies. They have the best hoodies, I'll say it over and over again. They give luxury, but they're affordable. I love the contrast between these two colors. The back is just plain. This is my new favorite sweatshirt ever. And last, but obviously not least, because this is the cutest fucking bathing suit I've ever seen in my life. What? These are literally the best bottoms ever. I get all of my bathing suit bottoms in this style from White Fox because they just fit perfectly. And I love to be able to tie and adjust 
sides the way I want them to look. Like this isn't even picking up as cool as it does in real life. It's way more shiny, way more like hot pinky. Oh my god, I love it. I'm getting this in every color. And this is also coming with me on my trip. So stay tuned for all my Instagram pictures while I'm there. Because I'm going to be posting an Instagram picture every single day. And that is my duty to you. That is it for my haul. Make sure you use code Brooke for 15% off White Fox Boutique. It helps me so much. And it will also help you. So it's a win-win. Okay, back into real time. Thank you for watching this portion of the video. And thank you White Fox for sponsoring. Let's get back into it. Hi. <laughs> Sunday and it's absolutely crazy that it's literally like a weekend tonight. I think every weekend needs to be like Memorial Day weekend. We need off Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Do you know what? We would get so used to that that it wouldn't even feel any different after a while. But I would appreciate it. And I don't even have to work if I don't want to. But everyone I love does. So this is what so I hard. come this is what I come home to. He goes, I'm doing a hundred burpees. I've never done one in my life. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I can't even do 30 seconds. Well, I can, but I don't want to do 30 seconds of burpees. Like, they're the worst. And he's adding push-ups. It's 8.30 in the morning. <laughs> Good morning, P. Whoa! How many? 18. Do 25. <laughs> Gotta start somewhere. Told him not to jump. It's not good on your joints. 100? No, right? <laughs> well, you could start there and work your way up. 25. 25. It's enough. We're going for a walk. And obviously, I'm not bringing my camera for a walk. I just want to say that we had the most dope walk. And obviously, I didn't film it for you guys. So, I want to tell you. We walked to the bagel store by my house. We sat and had breakfast outside. Which is, like, literally my dream. If I could do that every day, I would. And then, we went for an even longer route home. And that was just a fucking blast for me. It doesn't take much for me to be excited, all right? Guys, I am really enjoying the peace and quiet in my home right now. I'm in the same bathing suit as yesterday. Keep your mouth shut, but I'm so fucking upset because I want to be at the Taylor Swift concert so bad So bad. So that's really upsetting. I'm gonna try to maybe take some pictures under this umbrella because like I just match So well, do you guys like Like I'm bored of myself. How are you guys still watching me? Guess who has the entire backyard to themselves The whole house. I'm so happy. So I'll be dancing around I think I'm gonna take a dip in the pool. I'm gonna play my music. Enjoy my own company for like 30 minutes. <laughs> That's really it. But this literally never ever happens. So <sighs> time to relax. I think I'm gonna float around in the pool. It's gotta be. It's got it's gotta be. But we're going to Paul's leader for a barbecue. So excited with all our friends. <laughs> house he just came home from a pop-up a street fair if you will and he brought me home j and a's gluten-free treats we're gonna try them thank you so much to them because they gifted them to me which i tried first the brownie was gas okay cheers it's delicious oh my god i'm gonna try something else i want to try the, this cookie um, cookie time yeah maybe mm. Oh my god, this is so good! Right? I brought spine too. Nice. Oh my god, no, this? Mm -hmm. Unreal. Unreal. <laughs> they told me like what ingredients and like everything's organic and it's like five oh, ingredients. Oh, I love that! No, this cookie. Which this one? is a caramel cookie or like a cake. Alright, chocolate chip, caramel, whatever. Mmm. <laughs> and it's right? a little salty? Yes. It wow, is. that's good. It's sweet and salty. Mm hmm, my favorite. Right, boo, true. Mm. What? I've done that on a hot dog. So gross. Am I not allowed to have a little more ketchup? Yeah. Play music for everyone. I get bumped. Uh, sex slave. I think I just heard. <laughs> oh, I'm recording myself. I had no idea. <laughs> Mel came through with the firecrackers. My dad would say, "This is a firecracker." I'll be really
really good for the vlog, what you just Hell saw. Hell yeah, baby. Promise you that. Brooke is the best director. Just Thank saying. you. I saw her get the camera. She's getting some behind the scenes looks. I'm looking at her. I'm like, you're amazing. I wish you could see what I saw. Her behind the camera just directing it. Remember, all the footage you see, the B-roll, it's Brooke behind the wow. camera. Wow. Being the great cinematographer that she is. Wow. Don't forget that. Some people's like, oh, I love Brooke. She's all behind the camera. And this is an actor playing it up. <laughs> she got me to say all this. She's behind the camera as we're speaking. Go, go. Yeah, like Brooke is behind the camera. She controls it all. She's a mastermind. I love her. Thank you. I love you. Woo! Yay! It makes me fair on. I wish he was right next to us, speaker. Paul, it smells like burning rubber. Hey guys, I woke up just like bugging out honestly. I feel a little better now, but I just felt so like just I needed to crawl out of my skin in my bed. That never happens, I feel like. Hi, so Paul and I just packed up all of his stuff from this weekend's pop-up shop back into his warehouse and I'm just waiting for him to come out to the car. I'm driving his mother's car right now. She's a sleigh. I like this car. I don't know what the plans are for today. Paul's family's going to the beach, which I would love to do, but I also want to be with my family as well. And I also think beach traffic on Memorial Day is gonna be fucking ridiculous. So I really don't know where the day is gonna take us, babes. But this morning, as I was saying earlier and got cut off, I was so, so fucking anxious. Just woke up with like tingling anxiety in my chest. That really does not happen to me often, but it was bad. I like sp had to spring out of bed. I just, I didn't want to be touched. I was just, I needed to like stretch out and take a breath of fresh air outside. So I did that. We went for a walk. It was nice. And I really want to spend my day with Paul because the last two days have been with my family. So I don't know what I'll do. We'll see. It all depends. Okay. Paul made me eggs over medium and I've never had them like this. He thinks that's what they're called. I'm kind of nervous. I'm scared. Like, it's fine. Like, whatever. Um, this is, it's not bad. I knew that was bad. Yeah, I don't want any runniness at all. Ever. Cone and I'm so mad because I wanted a cone. But I feel like I'm being rushed because it's melting. Why is it I'm yellow? So I, I, I think they just do it like for fun. And I got the best flavor. Cappuccino crunch. And they have these little smears of hot fudge throughout it with little crunchies all inside. And you just can't go wrong. Because you get to chew your ice cream. Phenomenal. And I got a medium. I'm going crazy. Wait, this is like not enjoyable. Yeah. Where are we supposed to sit? Can we just not sit? Where? Stand inside? I think those people are getting up actually. We can go over there. It's freezing out here. We gotta go. Dad. I got cappuccino crunch like you on your recommendation. And underneath that, pistachio. Mmm. Best of both worlds. Your girl just had the most delicious gelato. I'm gonna make my way over to Paul's house. I feel like I fucking say that a trillion times in every video. Like, I think I'm just getting sick of myself. But change of scenery very, very, very soon. Like, very, very soon. So it's okay. But I'm leaving my camera here because I just want to be super present. Probably gonna turn my phone off too. And yeah, I love you guys so fucking much. I hope you had an awesome start to the summer. And I hope that you don't forget what Memorial Day is really about. Remembering our soldiers that didn't make it home. I'm just sending so much fucking love to you guys through this screen or lens, whatever, phone, computer, whatever you're watching this on. I hope you feel it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I post YouTube videos every week, but if you want more of me, you can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. My username is at Brooke Mooney underscore. My sister, my dad, and I also have a podcast called It's a Mooney Thing. If you guys watched up until this point, comment this emoji in the comments down below. And here is today's subscriber shout out. I love you so much and I'm so thankful for you. Make sure to like and subscribe. It's a free way to help me out. All right, peace out guys love you